welcome this is the energy vibration um general reading for um the month of december 2017 and i want to say to each and every person welcome and thank you for being here the month of december 2017 is going to be the last of uh, this year and um what is happening in this year um we need to look at certain aspects this month of december is ending the year on a new beginning for a lot of people so there is going to be absolutely a new beginning for a lot of people so um as we look at the month of december we are trying to focus on certain aspects certain things we're trying to understand what is going to take place at the end of december for a lot of people in their lives this is going to be the change of the guard for a lot of people um especially for the capricorns people there are going to be changes that is coming in and the changes that are coming in for you capricorn is that uh, um saturn is going to enter your planet um your birth chart in this month and it's going to affect most of the capricorn people who were born in december okay so okay i am not really liking this lightning um this is killing my eyes <laughs> so um let's look and see what is going to happen in this month of december this month of december it is christmas so um merry christmas to everyone and a happy new year i'm wishing you guys the best the energy for the month of december it's going to be the energy vibration of a new beginnings and this new beginnings is going to have an effect on just about everyone because what is happening is that um a lot of people have gone through um the year 2016 and the people who are coming up it is um the sagittarians who were born in um december and the capricorns um and what is happening is that there is a new beginnings that is coming in for the Sagittarians and the Capricorns because what is happening is that um, the planet of Jupiter is governed in um, the planet of Jupiter is governing is the planet that drives the Sagittarians and for you guys there's a lot of changes that is coming in this general readings because I'm changing up the forms of the readings and I'm, I'm focusing more on working with the the aspect of the element because what is happening is that a lot of changes are coming in and with these changes that are coming in um there is going to be um an aspect of things that will be happening in a lot of people lives so it's a new beginning for a lot of people because the year it, a certain aspects certain things are changing and this month of December is a new beginning. The new beginning is a zero. Um, this is as if the universe is calling up on you and is saying to you, you need to make changes in your life, especially for the Capricorns and the people who are um, vibrating on the zodiac energy of uh, the earth energy of Capricorns. You are going to really feel this coming in. Um, at this time so it's going to be something that um, you really were looking forward to but it's what is happening in this month the energy of air because um, this deck that I'm using is one of is you know it's a very nice deck. the energy of hair is going to be um, the energy vibration of what is happening because the energy of hair carries the energy vibration of uh, um, the um, magical things because you will have a new beginning because there's magical things and you will have a new beginning but obviously you will see that with the energy of hair um, for some places it is winter for some places um, it is summer and as you look at this thing this is the energy of hair so the number the circle is like um, the energy of the Omega calling up on you to ask you um, to transform yourself and to awaken to the changes that are about to come in because there's a lot of changes that is about to come in there 
a lot of people are not aware of because you start to feel these energy vibration but you're realizing now that these situations that are happening in your life it's actually changes that are about to happen to you and these changes are um, taking place so the energy of air hair is so it says when there must be changes a lot of things has to be clean out of your life and then new things are going to come in and happen so what I'm going to do is um, this general reading is going to share a lot of information because this is a general reading for December 2017 and it's going to be sharing a lot of information and a lot of information is going to come in up because I'm going to break it down um, at the second half of the reading um, to where you're going to see the aspect of what is going to transpire in your life and the element that you work under because I'm focusing more on the elements because people need to understand who they are and people need to understand what is about to happen because there's a lot, going to be a lot of transformation that is going to be taking place on this planet. So let's um, try and look forward um, to what is happening and then we're going to try and figure out for ourselves how can we um, be ready for these changes and how can we accept these changes that are coming in in our lives because it's going to be um, changes that um, we need to, to expect. So let's look at the cards and let's see what is happening for you guys. So, and I'm hoping that you're seeing the cards properly. We have a new beginning and this new beginning that is coming in is going to affect each and every person. So it doesn't really matter what elements you were born under, it's going to affect you. This um, new beginnings is going to affect this, the um, Sagittarians and um, the Capricorns, but it's going to affect other people in different ways. What we have here is that we have commitment. Commitment is the energy of committing to something so you um it's as if you're called on to commit to something in your life and this could be relationship this could be friendship this could be organization this could be work so it's going to be taking on different forms for different people the energy of commitment is very important because commitment is as if when we make promises to other people, to ourselves and to situations around us. So we commit to do something. We commit to change from one career to another and we commit to, to doing that because we feel as if we are not um, moving um, in um, the correct direction. So in the first week, we are having the energy of commitment happening here and with the energy of commitment we need to understand that there are certain things and there are certain aspects that is going to happen in our life that we need to find um the 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 right um adjustment to make these commitments in our life and as we assimilate ourselves with the correct adjustment you're going to see in the second week the train and the energy of the train is that you are going to victoriously overcome whatever that has been going on in your life in the second week you're going to see this happening that you're overcoming a lot of situation and a lot of things that has been happening in your life and you are trying to move away from certain things certain situations certain people certain things that no longer serve you so the train is actually helping you to move away from these things and to constantly keep you in focus and balance as to whatever is going on in your life and this is what is going to be transpiring and taking place as we look at the third week we have the energy of strength and energy of strength is that you're calling in on your guides and angel and universal angel in the third week it's going to be the week of Christmas so I can understand why this last month of the year has got the beginning a new beginning because actually you are ending um, 
a year where so much has happened and there's a new transition. So in the third week of Christmas, the energy of strength comes up and the energy of strength is going to be that you are looking for inner strength to deal with certain situation that is going on around you, certain aspect of yourself that you are seeing, realizing, understanding for yourself. And then you're going to recognize um, that by focusing and understanding your journey and your part and whatever you're here playing your role in this week then you are going in, in in this third week then you're going to understand that there is um a higher power that is in everything okay so let's look at the fourth and last week which is the energy of the hermit this is a wonderful wonderful energies and i return the camera so you can see it and it's um a complete wonderful energies that is happening for you guys because what is happening is that um the energies of the hermit is just trans forming a lot of things that has been happening to you and you're going to recognize certain things in certain situation in your life we need to understand that with everything that transpire in our lives it has a meaning and it transform a meaning the emotional sense of commitment in the first week and uh, the sense of uh, the fire energy that is the train because you're moving away from something moving towards something and you need to find the inner strength of you being focusing on the things that needs to be done and in the last week going inwards to find that true inner wisdom is going to play a significant role in each and every person's life out there so what I'm going to do now is um, actually I'm going to break down each and every um, person um, in the sense of uh, um, the elements, who you are. So you have to find out who you are. I'm going to take it in the foremost um, way that they comes up, which First, I'm going to do the energy of the water people. So first, we are going to look at the energy of the Pisces. Okay, so whatever is happening, we're going to be looking at the energies of the Pisces. So as I am, I'm going to go through this card and see what is going to be the energy of the Pisces for the month of December, we have Mother Nature. And this energy has been coming up. So for you, Pisces, the energy of Mother Nature comes up. And what this is saying is that for you, Pisces, the month of December is going to be a month of uh, um, inner nourishing. You're going to find that need to um, nourish everyone around you. It's uh, Mother Nature. It's... Uh, um, being the mother of everyone and trying to make sure that everyone is okay and this is always so true because pisces people are very nurturing people they're very and it's not only pisces people but like the water sign people especially um the um pisces they're very very um you know hope and loving people who always want to nurture everyone so um for you um water sign people the mother nature energy you're going to take on this mother nature energy and it doesn't really matter if you're a man or a woman because if you're a man you're going to look within to find that nature and need to make sure that everyone around you is going to be comfortable and everyone is going to be you know um um, really um, finding the energy to you know you're going to be connecting with a whole lot of people and this nurturing effect is going to be excellent for you guys because what is going to happen is that you're going to find yourself being in that place you're going to connect with yourself in that place you're going to feel who you are you're going to understand who you are and this is going to be very positive for you Pisces okay so we're moving on um and this is this is actually 
um, good for the Pisces in the first week, the, 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 the water sign people in the first week, because um, that is going to be a very positive outcomes. In the second week, we have the energy of the director of emotion. So in the, in the second week, you have to find the inner light and the, um, the situation that is happening around you. You have to find that inner light um, to, you know, really, really, you know, be the director of your own emotions in the second week. And by being the director of your own emotions in the second week, you're going to realize that you're going to be moving away from the situation that has been bugging you down. You um, water sign people. This is for the Pisces and the Cancers and the Scorpion. So you're going to be, be the, being the director of your own emotion. Is, in, in this week, you're just trying to calm your emotions down. Whatsoever is happening around you, you're just going to calm your emotion down and try, try to find the best possible way to deal with your emotions for you Pisces out there. And, you know, all you water sign people, this is for the Pisces and the um, Pisces, the Cancers and the Scorpion. So you have the director of emotion in the second week. As we look at the third week for you um, here are water sign people, that is for the Pisces, the Cancers and the Scorpion. We have the energy of the quest of emotion. And this is why you're looking for inner strength in the third week because you're going on a quest of emotion in the third week. And this is wonderful. This is positive. This is so good. This is just going to awaken you because you're finding inner strength. And by finding inner strength, you're going within to find the quest of your emotions. You're going to find out what it is that makes you get so emotions over things because you govern the energy of the emotion of each and every sign that is here. So in the third week, the inner strength that is going to be there, you're going to learn with that inner strength to find that part of you that you're looking for with a quest of finding um, the inner strength and how you can deal with your emotion. The last and final week you have nurturing your emotion. So for you um, water sign people, which you are the Pisces, the Cancer and the Scorpion, the last and final week you have the energy of the hermit, which the energy of the hermit is a positive energy for you guys because it is going um, within to connect with your mighty I am present self and by going within to connect with your mighty I am I am present self what is going to happen is that you are going to find that inner nurturing spot where it is and I love the color of blue and in the scar deck the emotion color is in blue which is extremely good what you are going to find out is that by going within and seeking the true inner light and seeking what is it that you're looking for within yourself, you are going to find this in the last and final week. And this is going to help you to move the energy of um, this new year. You're going to um, end this year on a note of you balancing out all.